This is question 12 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we're told that x is an integer, write down all the possible values of x. So we're given these set of symbols up here, we need to know what these mean. So this symbol here means that x is greater than, and that line there means that it could also be equal to minus 2. So x is greater than or equal to minus 2. But then it says this part here is telling us that x is smaller than 3. Now, key word here is integer. This just means whole number. So what whole numbers could x be? That's the question we're being asked. So x could be, because it could, it, we're told that x is greater than minus 2, but could also be equal to it as well, one of our answers is minus 2. Remember we're asking all possible values of x. What could it possibly be? So minus 2 is one of those answers. What other numbers could it be? It could also be minus 1. It could be 0. It could be 1. And it also could be 2. It could not be 3 because we're told that it is less than 3. So it can't be equal to 3. If we had a little line under here, it could also be equal to 3 as well. But we haven't. So it has to be less than 3. So all of our possible values, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Okay, if you didn't quite get that right, you, this is kind of really easy marks to pick up. So make sure that you've paused in the video and attempting these questions here. So we've got three questions because I think that it's quite short and it's quite important that we get these right because I think it's quite an easy question. So A is an integer. Write down all of the possible values of A. So again, A is greater than minus 5, but it is equal to or less than 1. So what possible answers could we have? So it has to be whole numbers, so minus 4 could be minus 3, could be minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. They are the only possible numbers that A could be. OK, next one. We've got minus 2, and then we've got A is greater than or equal to minus 2, but smaller than 2. So what numbers could it be? It could be minus 2, could be minus 1, could be 0, could be 1. can't be 2 because we're told that it has to be less than 2. OK, last one. A is an integer. Write down all the possible values of A. So what whole numbers could A be in this occasion? Um, it can't be minus 4 because we're told that A is greater than minus 4. So it could be minus 3. It could be minus 2. It could be minus 1. However, it cannot be 0 because we're told that A is smaller than 0. As I said, if we have that line underneath, it could be 0, but we haven't, so it can't be.